this is for the baddest in the game. The world's greatest arena, Madison Square Garden. Undefeated in the streets, Jorge Masvidal. I'm going to give it my all, man, whatever it takes. Whatever it is, man, I'm coming to fight with everything I got. The real is back. If you like watching real fighters, tune in. Nate Diaz loves to scrap. He's got outstanding boxing. He can submit anybody in the world on the ground. I'm a warrior. I'm here to kill and be killed. I'm coming to win. Dana's making a belt just for that. This is the baddest in the game belt. Oh, I'm so excited. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 244, Masvidal versus Diaz. Tomorrow night, UFC history will be made on pay-per-view. In the main event, Miami, Florida's Jorge Gamebred Masvidal faces the West Coast gangster Nate Diaz for the BMF title. Plus, in the co-main event, top middleweight contender Kelvin Gastelum is charged with welcoming the gorilla Darren Till to the UFC's 185-pound division. We would like to thank our UFC sponsors, Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. And Body Armor. Body Armor Sports Drink provides superior hydration for today's athletes. More electrolytes, more vitamins, better sports drink. Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in New York, New York. We hope to see all of you once again for the live action tomorrow night. And now for the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 244, here is Joe Rogan. What's up, New York? Welcome to the weigh-ins. How about a nice round of applause for Ariane, Brittany, Red, Dana White. Without him, none of this would be possible. The UFC matchmakers, Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard. We got a hell of a card for you, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to kick it off on the fight pass prelims in the featherweight division. Julio Arce versus Hakeem Kawaju.
official weight, 127.2. And her opponent, Caitlin Tukagin. Official weight, 125.5.
When I started off, there was always one goal to me, and it was always to be considered one of the greatest fighters. Fighting the best, beating the best. Belts mattered, but they didn't matter so much. The goal to me was having people say he's the best fighter alive. This is just another step closer to legacy. You know, I've always had the title in mind, you know, and with every win, every loss, I mean, we're learning and we're we're adding things and we're taking things away. And I just think sky's the limit, you know, I'm still 27 years old. I'm excited to put on a show and start my my way back up to the title. The middleweight co-main event, Darren Till moves up to 185 pounds to take on Kelvin Gastelum. Kelvin Gastelum has just fought one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. Oh, he's in trouble. Adesanya retreats, left hand from Gastelum. He's a top, top middleweight. He's got a granite chin. He's so skillful. Why would I not take a fight like that? Why would I not move up and say, OK, the fans want to see it. Let's do it. Darren Till is on a mission. He wants respect. He refuses to go away. He's moving up the weight division, and he wants to do great things. Every fight is a new challenge that I'm presenting to myself. I'm becoming a better fighter, a, a better man, a stronger fighter, a stronger man. Oh! What do I goes down? Darren Till is a great fighter. He does have threats that we are aware of, but nothing that I haven't seen in this, in this fight game. Oh, massive left hand for Castellum! I think I'm a better boxer. I'm definitely a better wrestler. I'm definitely a better jiu-jitsu guy. Jake's in trouble. He tapped. He tapped. I just think I beat him everywhere. I just have to be smart. He's a terrific fighter, but I know how good I am. I know I should be in there with Calvin Gaslam. Oh! And I really am November 2nd coming with everything I've got inside of me. There's no looking past, there's no looking behind. He is the goal, and I need to beat that goal. What a stoppage! Darren Till gets the opportunity and takes it with both hands. Darren Till is a stepping stone right now. He's in my way. Unfortunately, I have to get him out of my way for me to be able to get to that title shot. I see myself, honestly, just knocking him out in the first round. Oh, nice one-two from Gastelum. This pig is out! I think it's going to be a, a three-round massacre. Absolute carnage, blood, and mayhem.
Darren, first of all, sir, welcome to the middleweight division. Tell us, how was the cut? How much better do you feel at this division? And give us your thoughts on Kelvin Gesslum as an opponent tomorrow. Uh, you know, I was just felt like welterweight was just becoming a bit too unhealthy for me. So, you know, it was the right move. And, uh, you know, Kelvin's there. He's one of the top guys. And, and you know, it's, listen, I just like fighting, Joe. I just like fighting the best. No easy fights, any division, ever. So I'm just here to fight. Well, I'm glad you make the move. Good luck to you tomorrow night, sir. Darren Till, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there you are. I'm here with my man, Calvin Gastelum. Calvin, a lot of love. You're absolutely at the top of this division at middleweight. Give us your thoughts about Darren Till coming up, as you have done in the past from welterweight, and where you feel you fit in with this division. Yeah, I mean, he looks great. He looks like he's ready to fight. You guys ready to see another fight of the year contender? Hey, we're here for you guys. Stay tuned. Calvin Gaslam, good luck to you tomorrow night, sir. The co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the main event of the evening. I would like a good war. People forget that that's what we tuned in for. I'm sick of lame-ass fights because of guys trying to not fight. Play around a patty cake all the fight. I'm not into that. I want to be a mystical ninja, bro. I want to pop out a tree and kick someone in the face type of It's all about real war, and if you can't respect that, you're probably just not a winner. Those are the fights that really motivate me. You know, somebody that I know, this guy's coming to fight, man, to kill or be killed, you know? This guy will find me just as hard if 10 people are watching or the whole world is watching or if it's just me and him in the parking lot. We're going to beat your asses. That's what's up. <laughs> this little bitch. I'm here to kill or be killed. So uh, if you're not treating this like a sport, Shy, he still treats it like a fighter. We didn't let the sport, the limelight changes, become something that we're not. But it's going to go for the kill and get, get the job done. Oh, oh he's still. Oh, oh, he's out. That, that's a worthy opponent to me. They said when he thinks the same way. Oh! Out cold! Whoa! Game red! Oh my goodness! Fastest knockout in UFC history! Boz Vidal just made a statement. Why you put that up on me? Why you put that up on me? That, that dude was talking wild, man. You know, there's some bad motherfuckers out there, you don't want to wake them up. Oh! I'm a real fighter. Bring me somebody. They can beat me. Oh, Pettis is down! Oh, Nate Diaz! Jorge Masvidal had a good last fight. But there ain't no gangsters in this game anymore. There ain't no one who got it right but me and him. Let's just show everybody who's the baddest motherfucker in the game. And it's me. I'm saying that right now. I'm going to defend it against this motherfucker. He's up! He's up! My mindset for this fight is take no prison. Oh! I'm going to keep swimming for the home run the whole time that that clock is running. It is what it is. It's worth it. We're going for the finish by any means. Let's give the people what they want. Pure violence. This is for the baddest motherfucker in the game.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Nate Diaz. Nate, this is a giant fight for you and a, a fight for us as fans. We're very excited about this matchup. Please give us your thoughts on Masvidal as an opponent and what tomorrow night means to you. All that matters is I came with the greatest fighter of all time, Nick Diaz. And I got the Nick Diaz army with me. We're here to take, take motherfuckers out. Nate Diaz, ladies and gentlemen. Jorge Masvidal, ladies and gentlemen. Jorge, give us your thoughts on what this BMF belt means to you and Nate Diaz as an opponent. Nate Diaz as an opponent, uh, it's a guy that would have got me hyped. If there was this many people watching and nobody watching, the type of person he is in the ring is what, what motivates me, you know, that I got everybody in the world watching. That's the extra cherry on top, you know, so it makes it amazing. That BMF belt, man, that's the prettiest belt I've ever seen in my motherfucking life, man. I can't lie. I also got Roberto Duran right here to watch me compete. I can't explain to you how excited I am that this man is here to watch me compete, man. The greatest fighter that ever lived in the whole fucking world, man. I'm fucking ecstatic. I'm going to put on a show for you guys in New York. Just check me out tomorrow. Good luck to you, sir. Jorge Masvidal, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you all tomorrow night. Thank you for coming. Oh, this is a fan dream fight. This fight's not only a fight that people want to see, this is for the battles in the game. I'm ready for war.